Welcome back, child. Siri! My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. All here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to... I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? Long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm-hmm. The bed, it, uh, <laughs> broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out a high and... Ahem. <clears throat> Guess we should go. And welcome to something that's a little bit different on the channel. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Witcher 3. And I've got to say, out of all the games I've played, and I've been a gamer since God, ZX81, so that's 1981, so that gives you an idea of how long I've been into games. This has to be one of the best games I have ever played on any console format or anything. The attention to detail that's been put into this game is just absolutely astounding. I, on, honestly, it's just... I've been playing this game now, I'm, I think I'm 65 hours in, and I'm only about 14% through the main story, because the majority of the side quests are just as in-depth, with as much attention to detail and quality and wow factor, as the actual main storyline and the main progression system. And you can just go into like random dungeons and houses and everything, Everything us, has been done by hand, no crafted. I mean, you just look at the things that are just Damn. in this courtyard, the foliage and everything in the game, the forests. It's just amazing, as you can see the tree blowing around in the wind. That's it's cool. just little things, like as I come up these steps here and come through the main door, you'll just see the lighting effects, the modelling. Everything about this game is absolutely top-notch, and it's... One of the reasons why I've always thought that the developers of CG Project Red have been the best developers in the world. They certainly don't cut corners with E like EA do. Set out alone, Vess tracked me down, insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help, but I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. 
You might have forgotten what you did. I haven't. I'm in command here. I make the decisions. You both know there are no debates when you're at war. You know what, Geralt? I've done many things in my life I wish I hadn't. But I've always respected those who I served, always put my trust in them. Here, at Kaer Morhen, this will be the first time I do neither. We'll stay and help. But we don't want him at our backs. Lethal there, was, which was actually a, a really good character from Witcher 2, which was the greatest game out of all my games until Witcher 3 came out, and then this one definitely surpassed it. As you can see as I come up here into this castle, this is probably not even 0.0001% of the size of the game. It's freaking massive! And everything is just jaw-dropping. Everywhere you go, the graphics are just amazing. As I come through here, you'll see the lighting effects. And this is not even... I mean, this is just one building out of thousands. I mean, look at the attention to detail, all the brickwork, the lighting as we get through here, you'll, you'll see. Absolutely stunning. I honestly cannot get enough of this game. And uh, even though the expansion's out, I don't think I'm <laughs> nowhere near ready for it yet. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the Dark Abyss. Bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone-dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's the laboratory, and the workshop. One thing to remember, 
We've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Anyone have any ideas for the workshop? Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. We'll need weapons that can pierce the Hunt's armor. Gotta clear the armory. Let's not forget the laboratory. I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witches' traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Can't help but worry. We're short on meteorite steel swords. Got enough for everyone. Here, Vesemir dug this up for you. Gnome forged blade, crossguards elven handiwork. Cuts through armor like butter. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion. So as you can tell, a massive battle is about to commence. And uh, I will probably upload that video as well. If you want to see it, of course. I'm told it's rather in-depth and very cool. And... Uh, as I've said, I honestly cannot get enough of this. If you haven't played this game and you've got a fairly... You can even go with a middle of the road PC, you can knock some of the settings down. You really are in for a treat here and it's worth every single penny. How many games do you get where you're going to be looking at over 150 odd hours gameplay for 40 quid? This is not EA we're talking about here or COD or all that crap. This is a developer that actually cares about what they create and it shows in every single piece of work that they produce. Thanks for watching, let me know if you do want to see the battle. And I shall record that and update it as well. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays, Paraplays Witcher, and he certainly will be playing a lot more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.